your mouth. Yep, it's true. Your mouth has more bacteria than an entire toilet does. A study conducted by the Forsyth Institute in collaboration with the University of Oslo, Norway and the Harvard School of Dental Medicine, Boston, found that the average mouth contains more than 700 different species of bacteria. Although many of those are harmless, there's still a lot, and many of them are hazardous. Brush often and make sure you use mouthwash, since skipping them could quickly increase that number. Dog Bowl While dogs might be our best friends, they are also known to harbor bacteria. Every dog owner knows that dogs have the habit of sticking their nose in everything which means that the germs that their nose comes in contact with collects in their bowls. A recent study found that 67% of pet bowls still have harmful bacteria even after dishwasher cleaning because the dishwashers don't get hot enough to get rid of them. One way to reduce the spread of germs is by choosing the right bowl. Believe it or not, bacteria is more likely to thrive on ceramic or plastic bowls rather than stainless steel. Your cell phone. What's the one item that never leaves your side? It's your smartphone, of course. A study by the University of Arizona found a typical worker's desk, which tends to be your smartphone's home for about 40 hours a week, has hundreds of times more bacteria per square inch than an office toilet seat. Another study found that the average phone is seven times dirtier than your toilet, while swabs from toilets showed bacteria on approximately 220 areas around the seat. The average mobile phone boasted a disgusting 1,479 such spots. So take my advice and use sanitary wipes more often on your phone. Your cutting board. The food preparing tool you might be using every day isn't just a little dirty. University of Arizona researchers found that the average cutting board has 200 times more bacteria than a toilet seat. The tiny grooves your knife left in the cutting board are prime real estate for germs to get cozy. One survey concluded that out of 2,000 UK residents asked, 40% of them admitted to using the same cutting board for meat and vegetables. In order to ensure safety, get into the useful and healthy habit of washing it, not only after using it, but before as well. Kitchen sponges. Sponges are by far one of the dirtiest things inside your household. A typical sponge can contain as much as 10 million bacteria per square inch. That is 250,000 times dirtier than your toilet seat. Just because you use something to clean stuff does not mean that it cleans itself. Your kitchen sponges are usually damp and are constantly being introduced to new microbial cells every time that they are used to clean up a mess. A team of German researchers analyzed 14 used kitchen sponges collected from households in southwestern Germany and discovered that they harbored a surprisingly high amount of bacteria. You may be wasting your time by even trying to clean your sponge. The study found that the best thing you can do is replace your sponge once a week. Your TV remote. The key to home entertainment is actually one of the dirtiest items in your home. All the dirt and bacteria from your hands ends up on this magical device, which never gets cleaned. This is due to the fact that it comes in contact with every hand in the household. Or more realistically, think about all the times that remote has fallen on the floor or was lost in the couch. On another note, if you have the habit of eating while watching TV, the grease and food residue that's left